prepare your biped, turn the auto key, go to motion panel, select any part of the biped, go to key info, select the whole biped and set up your key. And then go and adjust the pose. So rotate feet a bit, relax the arms, next select feet and go to key info and set up planted key. So the feet will stay on the top of the ground when you adjust position of the biped. Set up your second pose, that will be anticipation pose. So rotate body parts such as legs, arms, hands. And again, remember this is game animation, so you have a little bit more freedom. And think about your character. Who is your character? Again, select the whole thing, set key. Now go back and duplicate your first pose by clicking shift and drag. And create your third pose, jump slash contact pose. Next step is optional. I just want to copy and paste the pose of the arm from my anticipation pose. So I can make easy adjustments really fast. And I do the same thing with my other arm. Now let's create our fourth pose and this time the character is already in the air. So move it up and adjust the position of the feet. Move the arms a bit and straighten the toes. Notice when I move my character up and down, character feet are locked to the specific position. I need to change the key type on the feet to regular key. So when I do that, the key turns from yellow to black and now feet will follow the body. Now I create my fifth pose, the mid air pose, by duplicating pose number four. And again, I'll make some small adjustments. To create six pose, I'll reuse pose number four by duplicating and making adjustment as previously. For last two poses, I'll duplicate pose number two to create recovery and pose number one to recreate neutral pose. So first and last pose are alike. And now I'll make some small adjustments to recovery pose by switching the position of the arms. Let's change the length of animation and check our poses. Adjust the height of the jump on each pose so it creates a nice arc. In order to soften the landing I need to create one more pose. Just before the recovery pose. Check your animation from time to time 
to see if you need to make adjustments. Pay close attention to the feet, movement and position. Next, adjust the timing. Select your character and shift the keys. Keep in mind the arc, how character speed changes through the animation. And remember to take to consideration gravity. At the same time, remember this is game animation so you have a little bit more freedom. Keep changing to the point you'll be happy with your jump.